I love you. So I'm officially starting Plan With Me's and this is my first one. It is my November Plan With Me. I am obsessed with these videos on YouTube. They give me so much motivation and inspiration to get my life together. If you're new here, my name is Amanda. I'm a 44 year old single child free artist living in Seattle, recovering from cancer. I'm in this newer season of life where I'm just trying to figure out who I am now post cancer and I guess I'm learning to treat it like a fun adventure. So today I'm gonna take you through my notion, which is what I use to organize my life. I've actually decided to completely reconfigure it because it doesn't work for me the way that I have it right now. But before I get into that, I wanna give you a little bit of backstory on how I'm reconfiguring it because of some realizations about myself that I've come to. I 100% without a shadow of a doubt think that I have ADHD. I would definitely say that I'm neurodivergent. There's so many examples of things that I've gone through in my childhood that have made me realize that this is just how my brain works. But I don't know that I actually truly need the official diagnosis, taking some of those ideas and applying them to how I organize my life. That is how I'm going to be setting up my notion. And so that's what I'm gonna go through with you today. I feel so empowered realizing this about myself. And I am, you know, the biggest thing for me is how overwhelmed I get with every little task. And I get really excited about the idea of being organized, but then when I sit down to actually do anything, I just get overwhelmed. Today is about organizing myself for the month of November. And for me, Traditionally, November, December are really busy months because I'm an artist. And so I want to make sure that I'm going into the month very organized. Um, I'm also trying to give myself Saturdays and Sundays mostly off work because and set myself up for more of a Monday through Friday work week. Realistically, Monday through Friday would be the time that I work out in my shop and then the weekend could be like more filming and editing and doing all that. But ideally I would like one full day off where I can just do whatever I want. Last weekend I did give myself the whole weekend to just, I laid on the couch and watched TV and needle pointed the whole weekend, which was really nice. So something that I'm really trying to do is lean more into understanding my self more and my energy system and when I start to feel really burned out and then also just listening to those little pings inside that are like take a break you know don't work today and do this instead and and understanding what is my intuition and what is just me feeling burnt out I hope that makes sense so now I'm gonna take you through the current state of my notion. It's really unorganized and then show you how I'm building it out as well. I am also gonna say this. I have been starting to use chat GPT a whole lot more. I was very resistant to it because I'm just resistant to AI in general, but when I tell you this has been like a game changer, I am not even exaggerating. I'm gonna show you a few ways how I'm starting to incorporate that as well. Baker's barking at something and anyways let's get into notion okay so this is notion and just a little bit of an overview of what notion is in general it's kind of like a build it organizational system you can really do so much with and I'm only learning the very basics so far. So this is what I call my life hub. It is my dashboard, my main page, the first page I see when I open it. I have spent the last few days building this out to work in a way that actually works for me and my personality. And I've done a little bit of research on Notion for people who struggle with ADHD and kind of took some things from another creator who uses this and she's an ADHD coach. I want to go over this for a little bit and then we'll go into this right here, which is November goals. Since this is a plan with me for the month of November, I want to spend a little bit more time here, but it's important to go over this stuff too. So the first thing you'll see, this is a toggle, so I could add more stuff down here and then hide it if I wanted to, but this is November vision, and I put to gain clarity and organization in my life and business, which is 
hugely important to me because I feel like with an ADHD brain, I'm just like constantly going from one thing to the next to the next. One of the things that I find that helps really um, well for me is to have check boxes, which I'll get into in a little bit. So the whole point in building out my notion is to really be able to know what I'm doing every single day while still having a little bit of fluidity in my days. I'm trying to come up with a realistic schedule for myself for a working out in my garage shop admin days and then like filming days. So that is kind of my next task. So then we go over to this green box. And so the most important thing this week is to stay on task and complete all my goals. So far, so good. I, I was a little bit tired last night and just kind of zoned out. I have treatment tomorrow. So I imagine the next couple of days I'll be pretty tired as well. And then I'm going to come back to this area in a little bit. Weekly check-in. So I like this because it's just three questions. I will fill this out Monday mornings. And so how am I feeling this week? And then um, again, it's a toggle um, so I can hide it just to kind of come to save space. And um, I just probably actually feel really motivated and inspired to tackle all the things I need to move move me forward towards my goals. And then I can close that. What would make this week great? And then what am I working on this week to get closer to my goals? So again, I can just fill those in. And then down here, I'm still building this out and trying to work my brain around how this will work best for me. I'm going to work on that this week. And then um, I can close that. And then I've added color backgrounds just so it's a little bit more visually appealing to me. So then we come down here and it's Monday through Friday and then I've joined the weekend together. So on Monday, I wake up at 530. I thought I checked these off yesterday, but maybe I didn't. I did do the artist way. I started the artist way book week one, which I can go more into. Let me know if you want me to do that. Um, I did a workout. I walked Baker, <laughs> uh, reach out to Ty and Nick. They are my brothers and they both have trucks and I need to use um, one of their trucks to move a dresser. And I did get that confirmed. And then I did do shop stuff. So I didn't do it from 10 to four. I actually had a really like delayed day yesterday, but I did get a lot of stuff done. You will see that there's there's like a line under here and that means that it's linked to what I call my AWC hub. And that is, this is my business hub. So I can go over here and then right here, I have everything I need to get done. I can fill that, fill this portion out in the morning, uh, just like writing a list. And then, so I finished framing out one part of the banquet seating I haven't done this, so I'll just move this over to the next day. Um, still need to do this and this. I will basically just come back in here and delete this one because I did it, but I'll, I'm not going to totally delete it because I need to build the other part of the banquet seating. Anyways, let's go back to the main hub. So then Tuesday, Tuesday is today. I actually woke up at 4.30 this morning. Um, I couldn't fall back to sleep. I did my morning pages. I did a workout, walked Baker. I need to move this one because this is a, a part of a custom piece I dresser I was working on and, and I didn't have the right parts. So um I need to come, I need to come up with some kind of system that some anything that I didn't finish. I'm actually just gonna bring it down here for right now. So I maybe I need to create a little box over here or something so that I know that I need to reschedule it. And I'm actually did work in my shop today, right here. I didn't highlight it and link it to anything, which I need to get in the habit of doing. And now I'm currently filming Plan with Me. So I can check that off. Tomorrow. I have all of this. I have labs, doctor, and then treatment tomorrow. And then the afternoon, probably just come home and sleep. Thursday, Halloween party. I need to work in the shop, but I need to kind of figure out. I need to see how I feel before I, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Friday, I need to fill that in. And then weekend, I have a Halloween party or a... a the day of the dead party and then my niece's birthday and then here is sunday reset which i need to reconfigure a little bit 
Um, but I like the idea of Sundays having that be the day where I just clean and, and do meal prep, get myself set up for the week. So I'm not going to really focus on this right now because I haven't fully built it out yet, but I think that will work really well for me. So under this weekly schedule, like I said, I need to figure something else out for this. I created a meal planning tab and I like that front and center because then I know what I'm going to be making all week. I'm really trying to budget my grocery bill more. It's another toggle. And then I have another toggle here, which will be my grocery list. I have a couple meals that I want to make. Still fine tuning this a little bit. So it's, it flows in a way that works for me. And then habit tracker. So yesterday, morning pages, workout, walk baker, and I did drink a bunch of water. Today, I did morning pages, workout, walk baker. I'll check this off later. Need to drink more water. Not doing the best. I might add some more stuff, but right now I'm just trying to keep it pretty simple. I have, this is my October mood board. I'm just such a visual person that I love to have something like this. And then down below is a calendar, like a weekly calendar. You can either have it on week view or you can do, or you can do the whole month. But I don't know. I don't know if the whole month view is going to stress me out. So I just had it on week for now. Okay. So that, and then these are some old things that I need to just figure out where they go. Okay. So the quick links is always going to have two things, maybe more, but for now, definitely two things. It's going to have my little finance tab, which I could go into in another video, but I'm not going to focus on it today. I want to incorporate some goals in there as well. I haven't quite figured that out all the way, but November goals. We're just going to go straight into November because there's only a couple more days of October left. So again, with this, I want to keep my goal page somewhat simple, but also push myself to think bigger. So again, I'm I'm still work, reworking this a little bit and thinking about what really works for me. But so far, I, I like how this looks. It feels really clean and organized. I love having all of these drop down toggles that I can close. And I like to have most of my stuff above the fold, which means for anybody that doesn't understand that, it just means above the fold is everything here before you start scrolling down. So everything down here, as you continue scrolling, would be below the fold. Every month I will sit down and I will just, um, as I do these videos, fill all these in. So how do I want to feel in November? Some things that I think about are, as an artist, November and December are really busy months. And so for me, I want to feel really calm and peaceful and enjoy the holiday season without feeling stressed. Calm, peaceful, without feeling stressed. That's huge for me. And then I want to stay really motivated and inspired to um, continue moving forward on my goals. So I might do a second. So stay motivated. And, okay. I like those. I might add a little, another little light bulb right here, but for now that looks good. Okay. So then over here, mingles. So I'm going to come up with three personal and three work goals. Personal. I should have been thinking about these. I, I thought about these. Well, personal. Morning pages every day. This is a big one for me because that is a, it's a big part of the artist way. If you're not familiar with the artist way, it is a six week course for creatives to basically re-inspire and reinvigorate your creative side. And morning pages basically are the, it's the first thing you do every morning when you get up and you just write stream of conscious for three full pages and then you close it don't look at it again and um it's been i've done it two days so far so it's been really nice and it's, the whole point of it is just to get everything out so it's not bogging up your your mind i want to make sure i'm consistent and stay with that i know i want to work out i want to work out six days a week 30 minutes 
I've been pretty good about this so far, and even though it's not even November yet, but I know with the shorter days, it often, I sit around a lot more. And with how much my body has changed just from going through menopause, I want to make sure that I'm feeling good in my skin and is such a great way for me to do so. But I also want to work out in a way that feels good for my body. Third one. Let's see. Oh, I know what it is. Um, take myself on weekly dates. This is part of the, um, the artist's way, but also something that I've been wanting to do in general is date myself. And I'll get more into that at another time. Okay, work. I want to sell to art. Actually, I want to... Retain two art commissions. I haven't been doing the best at promoting my woodworking art pieces. I get really focused on my furniture flips because they are really easy to sell. I used to sell a lot of my artwork, but I've just slowed down on that. And I'm feeling really called and compelled. And ironically enough, I have been reached out by two separate people about artwork. So um, but I do want to retain two art commissions this month. And then I want to organize a shop market. So essentially what this would be is I'll open up my shop and invite people in the community that I live. And I'll invite people to come shop my art in my garage. I used to, in my shop, and I just set it all up. Um, I used to do a lot of markets, but I just don't want to do them anymore. They're so labor intensive for me. And then it's a lot of sit around and hurry up and waiting. Um, and I just don't, I don't find that I enjoy them very much. And then I want to, for the month of November, I would love to, I'm going to say six, oops, six YouTube. Oh, you know what? Okay. I'm going to do six YouTube videos, long form. I'm going to add one. Um, and then I'm doing a 30 days of social oops, media post. And this is, I've talked a little bit about chat GPT. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot today, but um, I'll go into more. I've been using chat GPT, chat, yeah, chat GPT. I've been seeing all of these cool things on TikTok about how to use chat GPT just to um, organize your life. And a lot of people use it as like a personal assistant. And so I typed this in, I said, I need 30 days of content for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts that focus on being a single 44 year old childless artist and furniture flipper in the Seattle, Washington area, who is on a journey of trying to figure out what her new normal is post rare form of ovarian cancer. And the idea is, so it's broken it down into four different weeks for me. And um, each day I'm going to build out and share, do some kind of Instagram or some, some kind of social media post on it. And so I've been detailing these out and then I'll start filming them. I'm going to, I think the first one I'm going to do on a Monday. So it'll be Monday, the 4th of November to December 4th. Anyway, so that goes back to, those are my goals here. And then social media tracker. I want to keep track of, well, because I'm doing this challenge, I want to keep track of how much growth I have. So this is what I have currently on Instagram, 32,899. I would like to, by the end of 30 days, have 35,000. TikTok, I have 3659. I would love to get to 10,000, which on TikTok, it feels easier to do that because you have more of a chance of going viral. And once you get 10,000, you can apply to be on the, in the creator's fund and get paid for your videos or certain ones. And then YouTube, I have 5322 and I would love to get to 6,000 by the end of this 30 days. So then in the month reflection, I'm not going to fill this all out right now because I really want to, I want to really sit and think about it. And I'm going to think I'm going to do it on Thursday because that's technically the last day of the month, but I'm just going to fill these out and just reflect on the previous month. Yeah, I I, I might adjust this. I, I'm, 
I'm not 100% sure yet. I have, I have to sit and do it first. I have these little brain dump areas where I just, actually, I probably won't have these under goals. I'll probably move these just to Life Hub so that I can just, anytime I think of something, I can just throw them into the brain dump. So like for personal and then for work, I have Christmas or kids Christmas gifts. I'm making these really cute embroidery things. I'll show you later and then work plan shop holiday sale. And I always do a Christmas ornament every year. Probably going to move these, but I'll do that after I'm done with this. But let me know again, if you'd like me to give you um, a better rundown of my notion. <laughs> I um, actually, this is kind of funny. This is all the TV shows I'm waiting for the next season. And I wrote them all out. And then I have been keeping track of their start dates so that I know when to pay attention. <laughs> I guess this tells you how much TV I watch. I need to clean this up again. And that's kind of what I'm going to work on. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And... I'm going to plan on doing these every single month. So I hope that I get the results that I'm hoping for. And this is fun for me to go over this. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think, I think November is going to be a really good month. So there you have it. That was my first plan with me. I'm so excited. Let me know, please, if you like these. I just want to give myself this opportunity to make some habit changes and to really organize myself and my work and my personal life in a way that I've never really been able to do because because I haven't been able to focus long enough on it. Um, these will start coming out the last few days of the month because I'm getting more organized with a content plan. But again, it's always helpful if you let me know what you like in the comments below. So make sure that you hit the follow button and thumbs up and share this video if you found it helpful and I will see you next time. Bye!